It's our favorite part of the show. That's we right. Ask the audience, the beloved Bodega Hive, for questions, and then we give you answers which might be lies. Mm -hmm. So, who's going first? <laughs> What advice do you give to people who just moved to the Bronx? What advice do I give to people who just moved to the Bronx? I thought you said what device. I was like, I was, yo. <laughs> you already know. A uh, uh, 9mm, Beretta. Me personally, I'll go with the PPK because you can fit that inside of the Timberland when you decide to go to the club. <laughs> so, um, what advice do I tell people? Mind um, your fucking business. Mind your business, but getting good with Poppy at the bodega. Yeah, because, like, say you get locked out, you could, like, if, if you can trust Poppy at the bodega, you can give him a spare set of keys to your house in case you ever get locked out. Yep. You can give him shit. Like, he'll hold you down. So as long as you go with Poppy, if you're not good with Poppy, that's not about you. Yo, that's something about you. Poppy's always very friendly. He's like the ambassador for the hood. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you come in, if you come in hot and give him, like, a $50, like, yo, I, I'm new here, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, Poppy, hold me down, you know what I'm saying? Like, throw a fake Spanish accent on you know there and shit. Like, <laughs> so, Poppy, I knew here, I, uh, I call me from somewhere uh, different, so mm -hmm. can you help me out? And, and Poppy, Poppy do the good stuff, like he'll sell you beer at that weird period on Saturday and Sunday morning. He's like, not allowed nah. to sell beer. A lot of people don't know about that. Real scumbags know 5 a.m. You go and the beer is like, chained yeah. up. You're like, yo, what the Poppy, what the fuck? You're like, like, oh, I like got no, you, no, no, Poppy, it's I okay. Then he just comes out with some phone cup with some shit that yeah. you don't know what's going on. He's like, that's this, Poppy, that's what, that's what you want right there. That's going to give you this. Huh? So that's you, how you Your girlfriend going to be happy with you, Poppy. <laughs> also, try the rhino pills. Next. <laughs> Do either one of you guys uh, now or ever had an interest in doing any acting that's non-comedic? Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, I, like, for, for police, I've done that shit mad times. Like, mad <laughs> dramatic, like, tear, like, tear render. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I'm just trying to. <laughs> I live right here. <laughs> it's so hot upstairs, the air conditioner. The... I, that's why I'm standing outside, officer. When I was younger, you remember that show, America's Most Wanted? I wanted to be one of the actors in the remakes of the crimes. <laughs> and the dramatization. And, it, and then they always show the person, and when they show the actual suspect, that person looks nothing, nothing. like them. <laughs> They're like, he's light skinned. Yo! You got Jetsy Kasopoulos to play fucking Larry David? And then also the people who don't know how to act, so they're just like, give me all the guap in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, don't make me shoot one of you suckers. Yeah. One that, of you melon farmers. Also, I would love to be a detective on Law & Order uh, SVU. Because, I mean, if IT could do it, I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> all you got to do is act surprised and be like, hmm. Act surprised and do like like a, a kind of quirky rhyme or yeah. something like, oh, like Bodega Boys? More like you like going to the bodega for little boys. Turn the fuck yeah, around. Turn the fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is ridiculous. This is, like, it? Huh? this is ridiculous. Huh? This is ridiculous. I'm an orthodontist. The kid Mero. <laughs> I would never. How dare you? The kid Mero? More like you like the kids, Mero. Oh, ah. no. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Listen, Dick Wolf, I'll give you a whole season of that. It's popping. Law and order, but take a boy's unit. Doink, doink. <laughs> oh my God, what happened? What happened? Someone stole my do-rag. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, in the bodega, crimes are committed. <laughs> Stealing a two-tone do-rag is especially heinous. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. 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 All right. Um, <laughs> if Bloomberg and de Blasio got into a ring, who would you bet on and why? Ooh, if Ooh. Bloomberg and de Blasio. Like fighting? Yeah, who would you bet on? Not oh, who would I bet on? Bloomberg. Um, as a gambling man, I would bet on DeBlasio. Bloomberg because he's rich, so he probably fights dirty. <laughs> like Bloomberg's gonna bite, he's gonna kick him in the nuts. Yeah, yeah I don't think he's like throw sand in his face. That part, that part. Yeah, if it's like fully sanctioned, like all the rules of being followed, I'm, my money's on De Blasio just because of the height differential. But if he's talking like WWF, I'm definitely rocking with Bloomberg because somebody's gonna run into the ring and shit. It's like, my God. That's Dante's music. But don't and forget, he just comes out like wow, hits the nigga with a steel chair. But De Blasio, he's weakened after years of eating Sbarros. True. So yeah. he's gonna lose. He's a little anemic. So. Shit, nigga needs some iron pills. What if Bloomberg's nice with the hands? Yo, imagine. Imagine Bloomberg was like, "What's up, nigga?" He's like, "Fuck a debate. Let's scrap. What's up? Let's shoot a fair one. Shoot How the fair that? one. Yeah. Oh, mini shoot Mike. Shoot the fair one, pussy. Yeah, I'll shoot. You. I'll show you, mini Mike. <laughs> Next question. Um, so my question is, if you owned your own bodega. What would your food items be? Like specials. Ooh, if I owned my own bodega, what would the uh, food items be? <sighs> the blunt wraps would not be dry. That's true. I would have like a special person just to make sure that they're fresh, like squeeze the pack of backwoods, make sure it's like good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just the general bodega stuff, ham and cheese sandwiches. Yeah. 
that kind of stuff. You know what I'm but like, I try to make it fan. You know, how every time you go to a bodega, and sometimes they step it up just a little bit. A little bit. So you know, what I'm make saying? it feel like yo. So I like, I guess the cat would be like manicured or some shit. Or have a collar. <laughs> yeah. Put a collar on the cat. Boom. Yeah. Fancy bodega. Like that or like. Gruyere cheese, is that a thing? Gruyere. 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 Little Gruyere, Gruyere on the top Gruyere. cheese, Gruyere. you know what I'm saying? Gruyere. Uh, you know what I mean? Start little... selling baby bells with the Swedish fish? Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, Poppy, that's gotta be refrigerated. No, no, wait, it's okay. Half in plastic on top. <laughs> you know what's funny? My bodega yesterday, this girl bought a maxi pad like a Lucy. <laughs> Let me get one maxi pad. And I was like, God damn, I'm really in the Bronx. <laughs> She's like, like she didn't even say that. She just came in and did the head nod. She was like, yo, Poppy. Let me get one. Yo, Poppy, you know what time of the month it is. Ah. Yo, it's my last day, but it's a little heavy. You know what I'm saying? What's up? This is talking. She was like, what's up, nigga? What's good, bitch? What's up? Out here bleeding. You know that shit? Yo, yo drop an op on the sea. Ah. Ah. Yo, nigga, these menstruals is killing me. Yo, word. I got the wild bramps. <laughs> 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 Next question. <laughs> hey, first time, long time. Thanks for calling. Hey. Okay, so now that New York has its first confirmed case of Corona, do mm. you have any advice I got for the Bodega Hive so that we can stay virus free? Uh, uh, just don't cough <laughs> for like six months. Or just hold your nose. Just when you're walking around and shit, just hold your nose. Because apparently their masks don't work, but the Home Depot masks, you know what I'm saying, with the little metal shit, them shits work. I, I Googled it. I don't think that's... that's, no, no. that's right. Listen, when you said them, the ace is going to be wrong. No. The, you, <laughs> the best way to avoid coronavirus stay is... Uh, no, nah, stay in the house. You're in New York. You just got to just live your life. You'll be fine. You know think about it. We didn't die from SARS. We didn't die from bird flu. We didn't die from any of the. We survived like uh, the subway shutting down. We survived the blackout. We survived 9 11. Niggas <laughs> coughing is going to kill us. Like, come on, <laughs> bro. If you go into, like, if you just hop down onto the tracks of any subway station, that little water that's there, if you just go like that, yeah. you become immune to every that, that, disease. That's like a vaccine for everything. It's not so much you become immune to every disease, it's more like your uh, immune system is no longer exists. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I wouldn't recommend that. No, you'd be fine. If you get sick, go to the Chinese food store and get the egg drop soup. And put the Everyone hot sauce. Be like, yo, get, yeah, hot, get the hot sauce. sauce. Get the hot sauce. Yeah. If you're really sick, get the uh, hot and sour soup. Yeah. Yeah, that'll cure everything, right? Bang. Cancer, AIDS, leukemia, A little bit of this. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're good. Some Vicks. A little you know fucking I mean? duck sauce on that. You good. Also, think about it. If you die of coronavirus, niggas ain't giving you a memorial. No, you're not getting no candles in front of the bodega. Ain't nobody on the side of the bodega like, yo, rest in peace, the homie died from corona. Yeah. Yo. They're going to clown you. They're going to put a six pack of coronas in front of the bodega. Yo. With one candle. Like, yo, this dumb nigga. Yo. You got coughed on on the train, stupid. Yo, I remember his last words. That nigga did. Ah, fucking bozo. <laughs> Wait, why are we roasting someone for getting corona? <laughs> Because we're from the Bronx. The Bronx is different, bro. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. <laughs> Death threats? <laughs> All right. You, gotta, you guys had a good time today? Yeah. Yeah. yeah.